Don't you know history repeats itself? Now, history does not have to repeat, but history often rhymes. And that's exactly what's playing out nowadays. We think that this whole Web3 crypto blockchain space, this, this entire paradigm shift has never happened before. You know, it's completely unique to us and our time zone or our time frame. And that's not the case. Was that yodeling I just heard or did you just say what I thought you said? If you look back from the dot com or the internet days, very, very similar to what we're going through now. And I actually want to highlight this through something once again, Dan Moorhead, from, a CEO of Pantera Capital, put out a great tweet. And I want to go through that with you guys right now. So if you look at the screen here, and he's written here that from 1999 to 2002, there was a big tech paradigm shift. Worldwide web. Some Web2 companies were looking for, were searching for product market fit. There was a lot of speculation on dot coms. So we're going through the roof, things were skybound, and all of a sudden things flipped and everything started to crash and crashed hard. Okay? Then you look at around 2003, well, no one wanted to touch anything related to the internet or any dot-com related company. I'm not touching it though! They were still building going on behind the scenes. But a lot of these companies were, a lot of the companies that were going to have staying power and, and scale to become what they are today were building during that time period. And what companies were there? I mean, you're looking at, you know, and then Amazons, the Googles, you know, anything like that that you look at now that seems like of course they're going to be around right that wasn't the case back then i think amazon was around a two dollar stock at one point you know going from its highs down to two dollars and it's gone up and down throughout the process but look where it is today we don't even think twice about it amazon was part of this 99 to 2002 speculation and then also where no one wanted to touch it so we did have that and then you get new companies that emerged because of that foundational layer that was built by amazons and the googles and whatnot roll out as well but if you look at it, it mentions Twitter and Uber these have kind of the internet enabled these companies to then take off into a totally different stratosphere and so without these early stage companies and without that new wave of the internet tech coming through none of these companies would exist today if we use that as a comparison today there is again you know 2019 to 22 there is a massive tech paradigm shift you don't say blockchain and web3 and things of that nature and so again look so now we've got some web3 companies that are looking for product market fit just like web2 companies were looking for product market fit massive speculation we've all seen that and then all of a sudden especially with the nft space there's a lot of speculation that was going on there and then things flipped right we are where we are today things are just crashing or have crashed I mean, there are projects out there that are 90, 95, and some even 100% down and never to rise again. And over here, a panic button. So we've got that similar to the dot-com period. But now you're looking at this time frame where all this is happening. And he mentions 2023, the building continues just like 2003. But even now, right, 2022, that building's happening just like 2002, the building was happening. And so then he puts down... Well, what's going to come of this going forward? What entities, what projects, what companies are we going to get based on the building that's happened in 2023? And I love the comparison that he's made because it's so valid. And yet many of us, even for those of us who have grown up when we were younger without the Internet, you look now and you can never imagine that time period again. It's very interesting. Right. So so those who are still those who are laughing or saying that this is there's no value, there's a scam, uh, you know, there's no inherent value for blockchain or Web3 are the same people who said this, who said similar things about the Internet. That's no, just a fad. And yet the Internet has now become second nature. Right. It's, it's part of what we do. So the same thing is going to happen moving forward. You know, whether that's 20, 25, 20, 30, whatever the case may be. In my personal opinion, I think around 2025, definitely by 2030, we're going to have a similar similar outlook on blockchain that we do with the internet. It's just going to be something that every company builds on, every company uses, and maybe not necessarily even think about the fact that we're using it. 
I want to share with you guys what we're talking about about building and some of the things that have happened this year alone that you need to take note of. Sit down. Take notes. Look at this. Just this year alone, BlackRock announced a Bitcoin offering to its clients. Fidelity has offered Bitcoin in retirement accounts and commission-free crypto trading. JP Morgan, I touched on this concept in a, vid a previous video here, just used a DeFi application to conduct a trade. Visa has a crypto debit card and Google announced a blockchain node service. So Google actually accepted payments via crypto for cloud storage. And there's all kinds of things that are happening in this space. That's just a snippet of what's happened this year. It's gonna be absolutely tremendous. 2023, 2024 and on, buckle your seatbelts.